CJ. I'm sorry this is my little fuck up. I think the last time that I did a video, I left off with talking about sensory dep deprivation. And the phone rang and I said it was sir. Not like he was supposed to call me or anything like that, but I just knew it was him. I guess you can say that sensory deprivation was working there. Not guess, it was working there. Anyways, um, a lot has happened since that time. Well, I think we went through Christmas. We went through New Year's. Happy, um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. God, I almost did that. Wrong. <laughs> Anyways, um, Christmas was good. New Year's was even better. This year of 2009 is just great for us right now. And it's going to continue to be great. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope your year is the year of change because it definitely is for us. Um, I used to live in a little room in a house, had a roommate and whatnot. That has changed. Um, our family have new, we have some new additions. That new addition is my sister. I have another sister. We have another sister. Um, her name is my little fucking wise ass. Wise ass she can be. <laughs> and, um, we also acquired another addition to our house. Okay, we had the pimp style palace. Now we have the pimp style layer. Um, that's going to be, uh, it's our train place and other things. But anyways, we have, those are our new additions. And uh, all of this came about before 2009. So there's so much more that's going to be coming towards us and a whole lot of other people out there for this year. It's five days away from us getting the new president, our new president being sworn in, a black man. Wow. Who would have thunk it? Well, some did, some didn't. Well, it's actually happening. And it's definitely a year change. Not for that, that reason, but it's a year change. Um, right now, where we live here in hell, <laughs> where everyone is coming to see the president be sworn in, the energy is just like overwhelming. I mean, it's so much out there from so many different people that sometimes you just don't really want to go out there in it, you know? And um, it's been something all week. I mean, you can just feel it. Even if you don't leave out the house, you can feel it. Um, so it's going to be really something next week. We have Martin Luther King's birthday that's on Monday, and then the presidential inauguration on Tuesday. And everybody's trying to be a part of it. Celebrities coming in town and everything. So here in hell, we really, 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 really are going to be having some people that are just going to be... <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> um, getting back to a few things. Um... That move that was made from the place that I used to stay. It was a very positive move. Because if you had seen any of my other videos, I did talk about how the energy was just so bad. The chick was more bipolar than I am. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, she was out there. Um, and when you get to feeling that you don't want to go home, when you do get there, because you just can't be comfortable and relaxed, then Wow, it's not your home. Right now, the new place that we have is definitely home. It feels like home. Also, it's made me even more real time as a 24-7 submissive. So, that's a plus. And slipping, yeah, when you slip, you're actually seen. I mean, not that it wouldn't be seen, but, you know, it's right there in your face. 
You can't do anything but suck it up and suffer whatever it is you're going to get for flipping out. But I'm enjoying it. I really am. I'm, um, really digging it. You know, because it's real. Nothing phony about it. Those times when I would go back to my place, those were times when I actually could go back, kind of get back into another, or get back into an old, not old me, but it's like out of sight, out of mind, you know, whereas your submission should always be your submission 24-7, regardless if it's real time or not, but the atmosphere, too, where I was at was not really, really one of those positive type atmospheres. And, you know, when a person's a hater, then, you know, you have to deal with that as well. So, everything is just cool right now. And I think Sir's really pretty happy about it as well. My sisters are really happy about it. They gave us this really nice... Well, this is what happened, too. Before Christmas, we all had to get together, you know, and do our thing because other people had other obligations. So, you know, that was something that was planned and... We wind up um, giving the house a housewarming during the same time of having our family dinner and Christmas. So, in the process of all that, we had butt naked twister. That was fun. You know, you put the oil all on your body, you're all the mats down on the floor, you know, and it's kind of taped down on the floor to the point that it will not move or slide. And the floor is like a towel-type floor. So, you know, it worked out really well. So we awed each other up and stuff. And then finally, Sir had the board that he could flip the thing and say, left on red, <laughs> you know, green on blue, you know, your hand or your arm or something. So for those who know how to play Twister, you know how it works. But, um ass in your sister's face. <laughs> yeah. Um, and purposely served with the board. He did what he wanted to do. He really worked it. So it worked out really well. It was really fun. We had a good time and that's something I'd like to I know we're going to play again. Probably with a little bit more um, more a little differently, you know. Um Let's see. Um, <laughs> also, gifts were brought for the lair, you know, some pots and pans, stuff like that. Because when you live in a room, you know, they don't really have all those things, using other people's stuff and whatnot. So, a lot of those accommodations were brought in, and God, it was just beautiful. We really had a beautiful time that night. Got to think a little bit. We all had fun as a family. And um, New Year's was really nice and cool. We basically just chilled on New Year's, you know. We kind of celebrated New Year's in a chilled way. And what was so weird about it, too, is that, you know, at 12 o'clock midnight, normally you hear people shooting their guns and things like that, and nobody did. You know, it was kind of weird. But then it was comforting, too, because that you know that there seriously is a change going on. So, those are some of the things that have really been going, that has been going on and affecting our family, not in a negative way, but in a very positive way. So, you know, I needed to at least get on video some of these accomplishments, some of these positive, um, um, positive miracles. <laughs> no, they're not miracles, but positive um, result, re results from being positive. Yeah, that's it. The universe has really been blessing us. CJ, my little fuck up. <laughs>